going to be talking about a wedding that I did over Christmas. Um, and this is sort of a behind the scenes peek at what it looks like from my perspective on the day of a wedding. So what you're gonna see is not what a guest would see. You're gonna see me behind the scenes cueing people to go down the aisle. You're gonna see me setting up tables beforehand. You're gonna see everything like that. Um, at our room events, we do try to do everything start to finish. We do um, full day packages, which means we walk in the door first thing in the morning for coordination and we leave at the end of the night. Um, you'll see that there aren't aren't a ton of clips at the end of the night just because at the end of the long day I just forgot to record <laughs> Sorry, I hope you guys enjoy it. I will be stopping along the way um, obviously these shots are taken after because I You know talking into a camera and filming was just sort of uh, difficult for me during the day of the wedding. I didn't want, you know, the other people who were there to think that I was a crazy person. Um, so I just, I thought it would be much more put together and professional if I just did it home by myself. Um, so what you're gonna see here is from a beautiful Christmas wedding. I did not full plan this wedding. This is a coordination package. I do of course offer full planning packages, but this specific wedding was just my day slash month of coordination package. And this specific bride was super organized, had a really distinct vision of what she wanted and how she wanted her wedding to be. Um, she was so, so great to work with and she thankfully agreed to let me shoot these behind the scene clips. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into our very first clip. events our day of month of package includes rehearsal coordination so that includes you know an hour or whatever not a specific amount of time of um, me helping you guys get prepared the day prior or you know it's not always exactly the day prior to the wedding and getting people down the aisle and into places coordinating exactly where everyone's standing um, and that is what you're seeing here Here everybody's going back upstairs and then back down and we're doing it again. Here's a sneak peek of what their altar decor is. It was very Christmas themed. They rented a mantle and these pillars. This is 100% designed by her and her mother and I think they did a good job. The next thing I wanna draw your attention to is sort of the logistics behind this venue. You will see that there's kind of a staging area where the tables are. Um, basically, where the ceremony is set up currently uh, will also be the reception space. So once the ceremony is over and people are ushered to cocktail hour in this beautiful bar area, which I'm not actually sure I got any footage of, which was silly of me because it's gorgeous. People are ushered into the bar area. Then the staff and I, mostly the staff, um, will go in and flip the space. So they're gonna um, move the tables from the staging area, which are behind some gold curtains, and bring them out into the main space and set them. And you'll see a full transition of that later in this video. Um, but for now, you're gonna see me setting things in the staging space so that when the tables move over later, they are ready to go. Each table in this case has their own set of um, table place cards and then they'll have escort cards that are on a separate table. So here you're seeing the escort cards as they're laid out on the table and again these have the table numbers on them and then when they get to the table they'll have cards that have their food choices on them. This is important when you're doing a plated meal with multiple options but there's more than one way to do this and your planner can help you with that. Here you are seeing the wait staff go around and set all the tables. At this specific venue, the wait staff does that for you. Now that is not the case at all of venues, so if you're working with a venue that doesn't do that, make sure you have a planner who can check all the boxes and make sure that someone's setting your silverware. <laughs> 
Here are some local florals that were delivered. Um, these are obviously Christmas themed. Um, you're seeing some ranunculus, some garden roses, um, and different types of greenery. For this specific bride, getting greenery without sap in it was really important to her so that she didn't get sap on her dress. So these are by a local florist called George Thomas. I can link their uh, details, but um, they are super, super great. I love working with them. A lot of the day from here is a little bit self-explanatory, so I'm gonna let the story kind of take over. I think we're ready to do this thing. I love this venue so much. I think it's gonna be a good day. dance with their parents. This bride and groom decided to do a dance together um, with their parents. So the mother, son, and the father, daughter dance actually happened at the same time. What you're not seeing here is their first dance. They elected to do their um, first dance during their initial entrance and because I was busy coordinating that initial entrance, I didn't get a camera set up to get that. Um, so just believe me that it happened and that's why it's not here. And the remainder of the night from this point forward is just dancing and dancing. Um, so at this point in the night, I usually take a break and then I come back and help them get everything out. And that concludes a lot of what went into this wedding. Um, that said, there are so many other things that happen well before this date. I start working with my clients eight, at least eight weeks out, if not earlier, um, depending on your package. I am involved in the planning of process much earlier on. There's no way a planner can walk into a wedding and organize the day for you without first knowing what the plan is 
and making sure it makes sense. But this is what happens behind the scenes, or at least a small part of it. I did not get everything because, you know, I was working the whole day. Um, maybe in the future I can have a camera person with me throughout the day to sort of vlog style, live, do everything. But today is not that day. Today is the day where we put a tripod in the corner and then we do some clips after. Maybe we'll do this again if people like it. So let me know if you guys think that this was a worthwhile endeavor trying to get some behind the scenes footage. Um, a lot of people expect it to be like bridezilla craziness. It's not. 99% of the time, it's not. 99% of the time, my couples are having the best day and they're loving every second of it and it's not drama. That's not how we roll at Arbor and Bloom. We just make exactly what they want happen in the easiest possible way. And that's it. That's all we do.